Hi, I'm Lauren from Third Ray Centre and this is our first ever video review of the film One Day, directed by Lona Scherfig and based on the book by, the very popular book by David Nichols. Um, and I wanted to make this review because, uh, like a lot of people, the book that the film is based on is a really important book to me. Um, although it took me quite a while to like the characters as I was reading it, by the end I was quite profoundly affected by the kind of themes and message of the book. Um, and I'm sure that Hayley would want me to... Uh, demonstrate this to you by showing you my copy of the book uh, with page torn in anguish um, at the sad part. Um, but this isn't Richard and Judy's book club so let's talk about the film. As is fairly common I think when something you love gets adapted I approach the film with a certain amount of trepidation but also somewhere within me a small sort of ball of hope that the film would speak to me as much as the book did and provide as moving an experience. Inevitably I was disappointed Although there's a great deal to like about One Day, um, there's some wonderful performances, it's a very good looking film, it's fairly faithful to the book, there's just not a lot to love. Anne Hathaway, firstly, just isn't how I pictured dumpy Northern Emma, and you can hear more about what we thought about her accent, or lack of, um, on the podcast. One of the film's major strengths, however, is its aesthetics. It slickly manages the rapidly changing backdrops, both in terms of era and place, and its set design is particularly evocative. For example, in the Mexican cantina where Emma works, or in the trendy London restaurant where she meets Dexter, which gets extra points for looking and kind of being realised exactly as I imagined it when I was reading. Um, it's definitely a nice looking film, glossy perhaps is the word, and it has a nice feel of nostalgia for the recent past in it through the music and through the cultural references. But sadly, with One Day, there is kind of the feeling that it is a bit all surface. It does, just doesn't have the depth of the novel. I have to admit to coming away and actually crying after the film, not because of the sad ending, but because I felt kind of desperately sad that it hadn't done justice to the story of these characters that I love so much, nor had it hammered home the choking theme of the novel in a pertinent enough way. And it kind of made me worry to think that people might go away from the film largely unmoved, uh, which seems kind of wrong to me, missing the point of a story that, in novel form, shocks you into a re-evaluation of what's important. Um, so that's my kind of short review of One Day. To hear more about what I and the rest of the Third Ray Centre team thought of it, please do check out our podcast. And if you feel robbed like I did, or if you were bitterly moved by the film One Day and you think that I've got my assessment all wrong, we'd really love to hear from you. Thanks.